You ready? I've never been more ready for anything. You haven't finished your breakfast. Oh, I'm, I'm too nervous. But it was lovely what I did eat, as always. Oh, well. Can't put it off forever. Explain, do you need to give me time to speak with my family? Tony, huh? we agreed. When I set you free, you will lie low and give me enough time to sit my family down and explain all this to them. And then, once I hand myself in... I'm free. Yes, but I need your word. I can't have sirens and police banging and being dragged off in cuffs. I cannot let my kids see me like that. This has to be on my terms. Tony! Rita, all I care about is saying a proper goodbye to Harry and getting back to my family. I'll do whatever you want. It's beautiful, isn't it? What is? Everything. I think after all that time alone in my head, I'd have all these dreams. But all I want is for things to be the same. Just me, Diane, and Rose and Dee Dee. I want to get up in the morning, get my kids dressed, walk to work with my wife, come home and watch boring TV. My small, average, perfect life. What about me? My family. I'm giving up everything so you can have your life back. Well, I'll have to hand yourself in. Maybe I can speak to the police. You know, tell them that you don't belong in prison. Why would you do that for me? Well, you're letting me go, aren't you? I mean, that means deep down you're still a good, decent person, regardless of what you've done. Stay covered until it's time. Because if anybody spots you on the journey over there and reports it to the authorities, I won't have a chance to talk to my kids. Done. I've done to make the world a better place for my kids, for all the kiddies who's going to carry that on if I'm banged up. But why are you not go up now? Get these cranes cranked back up. Please. Back up. Oh. 